Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce the concept of uh, marketing campaign tracking with Matomo Analytics. So basically you will need to use this tool every time that you're gonna communicate outside of uh, your website. So basically uh, Twitter can be a good example every time that you're gonna tweet something and that you are going to insert a link within your communication. That could be also the case uh, for Facebook posts, for example, any social uh, network communication, but also, for example, uh, a PDF that uh, you would like to communicate on and on uh, which you have some links within it. That could be the signatures of an email, uh, that could be a newsletter as well. There could be many things uh, which are communication out of your website. It could also be a QR code, for example, um, also uh, an NFC uh, component or, uh, I mean, every links which is outside your website, which is pointing back uh, to your website. So uh, in order to use this tool, of course, uh, you will somehow need to know uh, how this tool is working. So uh, that's the URL builder. Um, on the long term, you do not really need to have it uh, because basically those are just a field that you need to, to fill in. And at the end, actually, you do really not need this tool at all. Uh, you just learn the parameters by art and then uh, you know how to use it. So um, in this former ver version of uh, PWIC, actually, um, you just had actually uh, two parameters, which were the campaign name and the keyword uh, parameter. Uh, as Google Analytics, which is the main analytics package at the moment on the market, uh, you add actually extra parameters such as the medium, such as the content, and such as the source, which finally uh, made actually Matomo uh, supports extra parameters, which are uh, the following one, right? Which are uh, the source, the medium, and the content, okay? Note that actually those three parameters uh, cannot appear within your uh, Matomo uh, interface, okay, cannot appear uh, here. For example, you will not see this report, this report, uh, this report, and this report as well, unless you install uh, the following uh, plugin, which is called the Marketing Campaign Reporting. So basically, when you set uh, Matomo for the first time on your website, you will mostly have uh, reports, which looks like this one, right? You click on campaign, and then you just have the campaign report, and here they're telling you, okay, if you wish to have more reports, uh, so it's somehow saying that if you want to have the source, medium, and the content report, then you need to install actually this plugin through the marketplace. This is this is clearly what uh, is said here. Okay, so in my case, I installed it, and I did not use uh, at the moment any URL track, so that's why actually there is no data for any of this report. The purpose of this video is just to show you how can I fill all those information in, okay? Um, so basically, you just need to decide uh, which is the URL you're going to communicate on. So in my case, actually, I'm going to do it uh, on my local host uh, website. So here I have, for example, this a blog post that I would like to communicate. Okay, let's be crazy and let's say I want to communicate about it on Twitter. Okay, I'm not going to do it because I do not want to drive my uh, Twitter fans, let's say, to my uh, web page. In any cases, they will have no possibility to get in as it's a local host. But I'm going to create the URL. I'm going to fire it through uh, my browser and then it's going to show you uh, the data uh, as if someone would have clicked on it uh, through Twitter. So. Uh, let's just copy and paste uh, this URL. So this is the URL on which uh, you would like to communicate. You can even have an anchor link uh, if I remember well, it will uh, work. So definitely like a deep link within your content. It's even possible to communicate on it. So um, yeah, let's say I want to communicate about this URL. So I'm just copying and pasting it, okay? And then I need to give a name to this campaign. So let's imagine that actually this uh, URL, which will have additional parameters, is the one I'm going to use uh, on Twitter. So I need to give a name uh, to my campaign. So here uh, I'm a bit hesitating because in any cases, I will have it under source and medium. So I don't know. Um, yeah, it's going to be like a 
double information. So that's not good, but um, I'm going to write that. I'm going to say Twitter, but actually I could even call it more like uh, community management as this is, let's say, the global thing in terms of campaign. Uh, then I could say, okay, in terms of um, source, it's on Twitter. Okay, so that's, let's say, where is the traffic coming from? The traffic will come from Twitter. Uh, what kind of uh, technology is Twitter? That's a uh, social network. So I'm just going to say social. Then in terms of keywords, that basically could be, uh, it's up to you on each time about the information that you want to uh, insert within Matomo. So uh, it's just the way you want to structure the data. So you, you better have a look at the different way that the previous campaign that you set uh, were written in order to make them consistent. But let's say here campaign keyword, uh, I would mainly say that the anchor link of the link that you're going to post on Twitter or either the main topic of the tweet that you posted about. So I'm just going to say, uh, I don't know, like something like uh, YouTube video, right? Because I'm making a, a YouTube video out of uh, this tutorial. So let's say that I'm going to communicate, I'm going to post a tweet on Twitter saying, hey, I have a brand new video showing actually how to manage the campaign uh, UI Builder on on, um, on Matomo. And then campaign content is more like the content of the communication. So basically for a tweet, could be like, I don't know, the first words of the tweet, or so maybe the tweet in itself, but it may be pretty long and maybe not be recognized as a good parameter because it's too long. So Matomo may not support it, but I'm going to write, let's say, a couple of words uh, which are uh, starting my tweet. Hey, um, here is uh, my, let's say, my tutorial about tracking, right? So, um, basically, the content here, um, I need it somehow in order to analyze my data coming from Twitter and say, oh, uh, let's say the tweet who got the most clicked was the one which was uh, about uh, this specific content. Okay, that's basically why I'm filling in all those parameters here. So this one is just here in order to say, hey, I was doing community management. This one is just saying, okay, what was, let's say, the anchor link of the main topic of my tweet. So basically, I could remove it because here I just, uh, just put YouTube video and doesn't make much sense. But anyway, that's the main topic of my, um, of my tweet. Uh, then the campaign source is Twitter, of course, because it's where the traffic is coming from. This is the type of traffic and this is the content of my tweet. So now I can uh, generate a URL out of that. And what you can notice here is that, whoops. So what I'm going to do is just going to uh, show it better. So this is how my URL is composed now. So I just click on generate the URL. It just adds actually some parameters. That's why that, that's the reason why I was saying that you do not really need to have this um, this form at the end because you will learn by art actually all the parameters that you need to add. So yeah, as you can see, uh, there is one parameter which is saying that, okay, uh, I need to push in the campaign report the word community management. Okay, this is exactly what he's saying. So my wish is to have here the word written community management. And then keyword, I want to have the word YouTube video. And here I want to I want to have the word social. And here I want to have the word uh, Twitter. And here is going to be Twitter. I think name is dash, dash, uh, social. And content is uh, the tweet. So um, as promised, I'm going to push all this information in. Uh, in Matomo. So basically, I'm just going to uh, copy and paste this uh, URL. And I'm going to uh, like uh, open a new a new window. Uh, basically, I just want to have a brand new cookie and so on and so forth. Uh, actually, it doesn't make sense because it's not saving the cookie anyway. Um, so, okay, now I'm just copying and pasting the URL. So it's just that I'm I don't want to promote it on, on Twitter right now because the URL is fake, but by putting it on my browser and by firing it, it would be exactly the same thing as if I was communicating about it on Twitter. So 
Uh, I'm pressing enter, and as you can see, there's no uh, modification to the content in itself. Actually, it's just the visitor who is a bit curious who could notice that actually here there is a full list of different parameters which are added. Um, if you are a bit curious when you are receiving a newsletter or an emailing and that you are looking at the different links uh, which are included within the email in itself, you will see that actually you have all the time a list of different parameters and those parameters can be used in order to know that uh, you open the email that you clicked on it and can even grab actually your first name and family name and know that uh, you personally just open this email, but that's that's not the case here. Um, okay, so in any way now, as because I fired this uh, page, I will see within Matomo if I'm lucky enough, uh, the different actually uh, campaign and parameters. So um, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just, uh, instead of going straight to uh, this report, I'm just gonna go within the visitor log. Okay, so now, as you can see, uh, within the visitor log reports, I'm getting actually the campaign name as expected, the medium, uh, the content, the keyword, and the source. And if I go to acquisition and campaigns, I will see that each of my uh, reports have been clearly uh, filled in with all the information that I uh, requested. So community management for the campaign name, then uh, I can even get extra information as usual regarding the uh, keyword I used and basically regarding uh, the content. So I'm getting exactly the content that I uh, tweeted. So um, I would say almost perfect here. Um, as said, you will have the source and the medium. And you can like this extract a lot of uh, data and really more analyze actually after that the, return on investment, mainly based on segment that you will define in order to know specifically uh, how many conversion you get uh, from uh, this specific campaign. I really hope that you like uh, this tutorial and that you will be now able to use uh, the uh, Matomo URL Builder properly. Thanks for watching.